19 and 8. Three submissions, four knockouts, and 12 decisions. And tonight he tries to keep that undefeated streak alive as he takes on the freak show, Colin Fletcher. Yes, Mike, this is an incredible matchup between these two contrasting styles. This man is so durable, so solid, a great creator, and if you look at it, he's a four-time UFC vet. There's so much experience there. This will also be his fourth time at Bama. You talk about the wicked hands, you talk about a beautiful roundhouse kick, Mawashi Getty, and this man's got it all in the stand-up, Andre Winner. Will Winner want to go to ground with Fletcher here tonight, or will he try and stand and finish the contest with his hands or his legs? Well, at Bama 19, we had Jeremy Petley topping the bill, and this man beat him, and Petley was on fire, so that shows what sort of form Andre Winner is in. Your nightmare is about to become a reality. The greatest ring entrances since the days of Genki Sudo and Kid Yamamoto back in Dynamite belong to this man, the freak show, Colin Fletcher. Oh, Mike, this, this is this man's second home. This will be the seventh time at Bama for him. But let's remember, seven times, only one defeat. And that's for the current world champion, Mansoor Vanui, Bama 14. So although we get the flamboyant entrances, the man's the real deal. The zombie cheerleaders will hail the entrance of the freak show. Mike, we always get excited by this man, and for rightful reasons, he's such an entertainer. But he has admitted, Hackney, that his entertainment can get in the way of his fighting ability. Freak Show says that his striking has improved in recent times. In his last fight against Michael Brightman, he scored his first ever TKO after a massive seven submissions in ten wins previous. The question here tonight is, will Fletcher want to try and stand and trade with Winner? Could that be a recipe for disaster if his ego gets the better of him? Or does he go back to the bread and butter? Does he go back to what he does best? Let's go to the floor, go to the ground and try and sub out Winner. I think that's a superb point, Mike, because as he said, he's flamboyant, he likes to entertain the crowd, he sometimes lets his heart rule his head. Now, my head says for him, try and take Andre Winner down because this man is so dominant upright. Andre Winner, four knockouts. Fletcher, only the one. We may have a battle of styles between a grappler and a striker on a hand. It's going to be awesome! So, if we look at the tail of the tape, their ages are very similar. The taller man, the freak show at the weight, almost double the amount of fights for winner. But what the tail of the tape doesn't show us is the wonderful contrasting styles this is going to throw up. Let's go to Buddy RMC for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, Birmingham Parkley Card Arena, we are live across the world! This is the co-main event of the evening and is sponsored by Lonsdale and Lonsdale London. Three five-minute rounds in the Pama's lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, an MMA and striking specialist, he stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 154.6 pounds. A record of 19 wins, 8 losses and 2 draws, with 12 of those wins coming by way of decision. Representing Team Roughhouse from Leicester, England, Andre.
his opponent, standing across the ring in the red corner. An unorthodox fighter, standing six feet, two inches tall, and weighing at 155.6 pounds. A record of 11 wins, four losses, and zero draws, with seven of those wins by TKO. Representing Unity Gym and Sparta Gym from Sunderland, England, the nation's favorite clown, Colin Freakshow! When the action begins, your referee in charge, Mark Woodrow. Center referee for this one, Mark Woodard, about to get us underway. The crowd here inside the packed out Barclay Card Arena is divided down the center for Andre Winner and the freak show Colin Fletcher. Michael Chevallo, Malcolm Martin with you. And as we said, we thought it might do, Mike. Immediately, Fletcher looking to stand aggressively upright with Winner and a nice little combination with the right roundhouse to the shin to finish. And when we talk about the freak shows, unorthodox style don't forget the last time out Andre fought Zafir Cedros a very unorthodox fighter as well very flamboyant so it won't be new to him double left roundhouse kick there from the freak show Colin Fletcher winner trying to control center cage jab to outside thigh kicks the combination from the freak show jab to the body from winner now Mike that was perfect example of the difference in style the way that freak show came forward with those two left and right and then the stiff beautifully timed jab from winner in reply nice Muay Thai clinch from Colin freak show but he lets go of it drifts back to center cage crossing elbow the suck to it it's known as Muay Thai jab there winner there's the roundhouse kick looking for the liver early here of freak show crash to the outside back thigh Melkin yeah he switched low afterwards but Freak Show's answered our first question. He is happy to stand and trade once again. But you can already see the difference in stylistic technique of the two. How tight and tidy Winner is when he throws his combinations. You haven't seen Andre Winner get out of first gear yet with his striking. If he does, it could be disaster for Freak Show if he chooses to continue with this game plan. Now you see Andre coming forward and throwing the hands. And that's where... Freak Show can look just a bit clumsy when he comes forward like that, racing in, throwing. They're not as effective as the way Andre stalks his man, brings him down and comes in. There you go, the right hand. Overhand right going for the cranium cracker. Then digs to the body like he's digging for oil. Uppercut from Andre Wiener. Cracking elbow to the orbital there from Freak Show. And, and an immediate reply. Superb stuff already in this opening round. Really heating up. we still got just under three minutes and they've been really tested already. Nice kick to the outside thigh from Andre Wiener. Frencho with a rolling cartwheel kick to no avail, but it looked good. Left hook from Wiener. Well, this is what we mentioned earlier about the possibility of one of his weaknesses, the desire to be so entertaining, to give the crowd value for money. It's been a glorified Muay Thai contest so far, the exact halfway point of the opening round. Jab from winner, counter right hand from Freak Show. Well, you get the feeling, Mike, that if anyone's going to change this up, it's got to be Freak Show because he is operating within Andre Winner's comfort zone. So Andre would be more than happy with this. This is his bread and butter, week in, week out. Look at the nice tight guard there from Andre Winner. The chin a little higher on Freak Show. Wants to tighten up that guard and look through the brow. Switch up there from Winner. Didn't throw the roundhouse kick, though. And you can hear the Freak Show's supporters respond that right roundhouse did land to the midsection of winner right hand to the body left hook to the head from andre winner free show on the outside counter right hand off the left hook from winner and again happy to stand and trade with inside two minutes now and not a sign of fletcher wanting to test andre winner on the ground jumping knee that we saw on the highlight reel little stamp to the shin as well Winner Mike, controlling centre cage here, Malcolm, trying to back up Fletcher. Jab to Kangaroo down the centre corridor. Nicely done from Andre Winner. Yes, he almost landed cleanly with that right hand and just missed the game, but it's going as we expected in this opening round, with Freak Show determined again to show his stand up skills. There has been no attempt at a takedown from Colin Fletcher. I worry for him because that Andre Winner right hand is getting closer and closer. 
Big outside try kick, some welting on the back of the lead leg of Andre Winner, courtesy of those leg kicks. There's a nice knee off the cage from Fletcher, and he drifts off to his left. Huge welt on the outside left thigh and hamstring area of Colin Fleetcho Fletcher. Yes, Winner, as you said, taking centre cage, walking him down, taking his time, and I still feel you're right, he hasn't really gone out of first gear yet, there hasn't been the necessity. Left hook, lead punch there, right cross down the tube from Andre Winner. Jab two from Fletcher, throws the cross again, didn't have enough mustard behind it though. Yes, looks for the knee as well, but it was half-hearted there. He's got to be him. careful though, Malcolm, when he does decide to step in, he's going to either commit or completely back off. If he stands in no man's land, Winner's going to catch him. And it's Winner who looks for a takedown at the end of the first round. Yes, surprise, they shot him for the double leg, then doubled up the right hand right on the bell. To Mike event virtually the way we thought it would in the opening round. Colin Freakshow Fletcher happy to stand and trade with Andre Winner. But what do you feel about that Winner white hand? It was beginning to get very menacingly close, wasn't it? As we said earlier, Malcolm, it is still not Andre Winner out of the first gear. It's still Andre Winner in sparring mode. What scares me is if Andre decides to turn, he's striking on in the second stanza. And Fletcher fights like he is at the moment, he could be exposed. It may be time for Fletcher to look for a takedown in the second and try and do what he does best, and that's look for a sub. We are ready to rock and roll, second round of action. It's Bama 20, hope you're enjoying it, folks. Wherever you're watching, do tweet along, use the hashtag Bama 20. And it's almost automatic, Mike, the way that Winner takes the centre of that cage. It, it becomes second nature, and he's straight there, walking Colin Fletcher down. Spinning back first to a high right roundhouse there by Fletcher, not connecting for him. Side kick. Old spinning heel kick, almost caught Fletcher on the neck, just behind the ear. Yes, very close there, but it shows again the different stylistics of the two men, the techniques, especially when it's upright. And already here in the second round, in the first 30 or 40 seconds, we can see Andre Wiener loading up his shots, a lot more than he was in the first round, Melker. Well, obviously, the confidence will have grown because Colin does strike effectively. But when you look at the two man, men, if you were asked which one was the natural striker, you'd know. And I think Andre knows that as well. He's taking his time, he's walking his man down. The question needs to be asked, at what point in this round does Fletcher look to take it down? Nice elbow off the lead arm from Fletcher. Well, the one thing he's doing effectively is, as Andre walks him down, he gets his counters in first, if you know what I mean. Still controlling centre cages, winner drops the right hand to the bread basket. Lose the head at the sign turn to him as well. That shows the, the schooling of the man. Outside lead kick from winner. Outside lead kick, winner with a late check. Cracks up one to the sciatica Fletcher. Well, for me, Mike, you're just holding your breath, wondering when Colin's going to suddenly go bang and take it to the ground and try and change this around because the longer it stays upright, I feel the judges will be naturally looking to winner's corner going, yep, this man's taking it. Fletcher is landing strikes, but he has nowhere near the starch or the pop that Winner has in his salvos. Left hook just misses there for Andre Winner. Still controlling centre cage and forcing Fletcher to the outside. And it's the cleaner technique, as you alluded to earlier, Mike. It's crisp, it's sharp, but Fletcher is landing. I'd like to see Winner step it up a gear because at least Fletcher is continually working. Winner has the power and the precision. Fletcher may have the work rate as we approach the halfway mark of this second round. Well, that right hand just shaved the jaw of Colin Fletcher. And again, it's Winner that goes for the takedown. Well, just a surprise to throw in the mix there on Fletcher. He wouldn't have expected it. And Winner wants to keep Fletcher down here. But it's Fletcher who wants back up on his feet. <laughs> That's why everybody loves the freak show, Mike. You can't predict what he's going to do. 
You never know. I don't think sometimes he knows himself. I think he's a very intuitive fighter. Listens to the crowd, responds to it, and just does his own thing. Another takedown there from Andre Winner. It will bode well for him on the judges' scorecards. Heidi! And a glancing left hand from Andre. Well, it's a warning for Colin now. That knee came so close to finishing this. Fletcher. Thought about the leg kick, thought about it again, but didn't commit. And again, with the, the hands there, you can see how clumsy he can look when somebody just takes him out of range. Oh, and that left hand, right hand again, Mike, that's coming so close. Now, Colin has got to be so careful. Winner with the jab. Fletcher again on the outside. Winner, very short movement. Goes hook again off the left, off the right. He's had more hooks than a tackle box. Here in the second round has Andre Winner. Well, you notice as well, he's, he's upping the frequency and the amount of punches in the combinations as well. He is beginning to step up the gears now. Trying to pull the head down, thought about the Muay Thai, clinched it, winner. One minute five remains now in this second. There's some swelling under the right eye of the freak show, Colin Fletcher. Yes, that's from that impressive jab and hook that he turns in on that combination. And he tucks in again from the reply there, uses his own shopping low kick, in technical terms, it's as we said, Mike, the longer it stays upright, the difference in the quality of the stand-up shows. Body shot, dropping the right hand to the guts there, was Andre Wiener. Fletcher comes forward, doesn't commit, nor so again on the roundhouse. It's been a good round here for Andre Winner. He's had two takedowns. He's also dominating the stand-up. There's a spinning back fist from Winner. It just landed on the shoulder there, but that eye is worsening for Fletcher, it's a big mass under the eye, so it's, it's not a bad position as far as it goes, but it, it's just gently and easily dominating this second round, and you feel he's still fighting well within his comfort zone. The freak show really needs to change things up. Overhand right was a whipping one, just sailed past the brow of Fletcher. Blood on the face of the freak show. A cut and swelling under the eye. It does not look good for Colin Fletcher. He needs to change it up in the third. That's the thing that can be so frustrating about him, Mike. You can see it from the outside here. He acknowledges it. He acknowledges that he gets caught too much in the upright game. And yet here he is doing it once again. But this time, unlike Brightman, he's against a man who's this is his trade. This is what he does naturally. And it is showing when you look at the, the technique and the skill level at that of the two men. Trap there from Fletcher, but he doesn't have the power to match Andre Winner in the striking. And you saw there, that was a beautiful three-punch combination. Yes, he's cut below the eye and on the nose as well. Mike. Nice little money box on the side of the nose there of Colin Fletcher. And the more that eye gets damaged, the harder it's going to be for Fletcher to see those left hooks careering in from Andre Winner. Third round! But don't forget, Mike, his weaknesses are all part of his charm. That's what people love about him. He's his own man, he does it his way, rightly or wrongly. He accepts the consequences when he loses, but you never know what you're going to get or what he's going to do. Let's see if Fletcher realises that he needs to take the fight to the ground now. The only two takedowns in the fight so far have come from Andre Wiener. It's almost as when he's saying to Make the judges... Make three Look. now, Malcolm. Three takedowns. Beautiful double leg there from Andre. I think that's what he's saying, Mike, to the judges. He's saying, Look, wherever you want to look at this, you've got to go with me in this bag. It's a dominant display at the moment. Fletcher probably down two rounds. Could it be a fourth takedown here for winner? No, will Fletcher get his chance at a takedown? Well, he's got to capitalise and he's got to maximise it because I've got him two rounds down. He's got to really work here now and show us the skill we know he's got on the ground. So Fletcher decides he'll no longer stand and trade with winner. He was coming up short in those exchanges. Now he's got winner on the ground with his first takedown. Where does Colin Fletcher go from here? Can he finagle his way to some sort of submission attempt? I think he's got to at least make the attempts with, with the amount of time he's got left. He can pull this round back, back round in his favour, but at the moment he can't afford this because winner has been so dominant. And again, look, turns his man, beautiful posture. Side control now for Andre Wiener. Now that is a shock, Michael, that 
And he can hit that damaged right eye with those left elbows. It's a perfect position here, Malcolm, to win a neon belly, full mouth. You can't get any more dominant than this. Once he postures up as well, as you said, he'll go to town on the damage to Freak Show. Oh, this will be a turn up for the books, Mike. How would this be if Andre Winner can sub out Colin Fletcher? He's going for a rear naked choke. The Mike, Freak what, Show in trouble. What I love about this is both men have tried to beat the other at their own game. We know Winner's strengths, so Freak Show has stood and traded with him, and yet Winner knows the Freak Show's strengths, and he's been the man initiating the takedowns. Survives here, does Colin Fletcher. Winner is hell-bent on securing this submission. No! Fletcher gets inside of Winner's guard. Listen to the response from the Freak Show's fans. He needs a big finish to this round. Elbows off of the back from Andre Winner. Freak Show inside the guard. He closes the guard, not allowing Fletcher to posture up. And Fletcher needs, at least if nothing else, some heavy ground and pounder. If he's not going for the sub, he's really got to turn this round around. As you saw, look for the dropped elbow here. Throws the legs up, hoping for an arm bar now. Can Andre Winner find that right arm of the Freak Show? No. But again, the Freak Show looks tired. His face is battered, winner's relentless, he's pushing forward. And where you thought Colin Fletcher would have the upper hand, on the ground, it's Andre Wiener who is prevailing. This is what I loved about this back, Mike. They've both taken the opposite route. We thought winner's making a statement now in, in his own turf, in the Freak Show's turf. It's incredible. Body shots from Wiener. Oh, big left hook! He just... And again, the overhand right Freak Show to me oh he's taken some punishment across these three rounds he's so he's so strong and durable and as i said he's got such a fan following because he's a wonderful guy outside of the cage as well but in this back tonight mike he's really taken a battering muay thai clinch now some dirty boxing high knee from fletcher misses the target one minute ten remains for the freak show to find a miracle find a way to turn the tide, to swing the pendulum, to make something happen. He needs the ground and pound stoppage or he needs a submission. He needs a slick submission, but again, he's standing and trading and it's Andre making the statement again, trying to beat the freak show at his own game. Double leg takedown from Andre Wiener. He's had four or five takedowns and maybe now in the fight. He's been dominant all over Andre Wiener. And time is now the enemy of Colin Fletcher. If it wasn't for the time factor, the only way Andre Winner would lose this is going one too many times for the world for the takedown and getting caught. But he hasn't. And inside the last 30 seconds now, you can't see this man losing. Pressed up against the cage. Can Fletcher execute something? He latches onto a single leg. Cut munching knee from Andre Winner. Oh, and Spins the Fletcher around nicely. Mike, for me, that's the icing on the cake now. Dominant, dominant performance from Winner. Big right hand from Fletcher, but it's too late here now. And Winner knows it, he can relax. He's got this one, Mike. Big win, I'm sure. End of the third and final round. It goes to the judges. It is Bama Trent here. It's alive and happening. Ladies and gentlemen, after three exciting rounds, we go to our judges' scorecards. Your winner, by unanimous decision, in the blue corner from Leicester, England, Andre Paddy Winner! Andre Winner, congratulations, made on a fantastic win. Coming in here tonight, most of us thought it would be a battle of styles between your stand-up and Colin's ground game. But you beat him in the ground game tonight. You took him down four or five times. You beat him in the stand-up. Did you expect that Colin was going to try and take you down early? Did you think he'd try and stand and trade for as long as he did with you? I thought he would try and stand and trade for the majority of the fight. Um, I, I thought that he thought that I would try and take him down at some point, which I did. But, yeah, I expected him to um, stand up for the majority of the fight. Was there anything in the striking arsenal? As we take a look at some of the replays here, was there anything in the striking arsenal of Colin that affected you here tonight that you really had to be careful of? Um, I was a little too tense on my jab, and he, he was countering me well with the right hand. So um, that kind of surprised me a little bit. Um, he used his kicks well and pushed forward a little bit more than I thought he would. 
But, um, you know, he, he's a good fighter, so he, he's going to switch it up. Were you confident from the early get-go that you had Colin's number tonight? Or was there a specific part of the fight where you thought, yep, from here on, I've got him? Um, coming into this fight, I was very confident. You know, um, the guys at 4D, Judo GM, you know what I mean? They, they really pushed me. Uh, thanks to Emerson, Mikey, um, Liam, Jake, all the guys that helped me over at LKA, 4D, um, Gracie Baha, Nottingham, you know, everybody. So, um, <laughs> I just worked, I just worked hard and I was confident going into the fight that I'd get the win. Um, at the start of the second round, I knew I had to pick it up. And um, from there, my confidence built. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give her another round of applause, Andre Wee!